Okay, so 24 uh, years ago, I get a call. You get a call. I, I didn't know yep. you. You were, you were a local radio host. Uh, you get a call. I get a call. Come on in. Talk to Roger Ailes. He's going to start this new network. goes up October 5th, 1996. Um, I, October 6th. Yeah, but 20, 24 years ago. And so yeah. I remember the first meeting that we were in some kind of warehouse. They were gonna, after we got hired, they're going to take our picture. And there's you and Combs standing there. <laughs> Catherine Cryer, who had the 8 o'clock slot. I had the 6 right. o'clock slot. And we were chatting. I mean, it's two Irish guys and this and that. And we were getting to know each other. Did you ever? <laughs> no. You would try to intimidate everybody in the room, Mr. Simple Man. But yeah, go ahead. I was, I'm teasing. I was chewing tobacco and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, so, a backstory is one day I was smoking a cigar in my office and, you know, one of the primetime hosts on at the time didn't exactly like the smell. I got yelled at. So, oh, but I, I don't smoke cigars. But my question back then is, did you have any idea that this would become a success? Because I, I thought it would. That's why I signed a contract. But I wasn't sure. Did you know? Bill. I don't need this. I'm, I'm now saying something I don't tell many people. Ever since I did my first radio show, I just expect the day I'm doing that show that somebody's going to say, uh, we made a mistake. Why did, that, why did that even happen? If you would have told me back in October 1996 that I would still be on the Fox News Channel, I'm now 25 years um, or on the radio. I started my radio journey bill in 1987. That's 33 years ago. Um, I, I am more surprised than anybody, and I, and I feel blessed beyond measure. Now, you were a huge part of the channel's success for all of those years. By the way, I learned being number two is a lot better than being number one because you got the heat a lot more than we did. And, and Alan, who I loved, and God rest his soul, um, you know, I felt like the luckiest guy in the world. But I do say this. I shudder to think what the country would be like without at least one channel. Fox News has changed now. Um, I'm not going to, I've never spoken yeah. about Fox News. Are you going to take like a big that. wedge? Yeah. Like, is this like the non-cupcake part where you're going to like make me try and no. be I, I, I would love you, what this would channel you, Would you acknowledge that Fox News has changed? Um, you're asking a good question. I'm going to say something that some people may not like here. And that is, I'm so busy every day, Bill. I do like to catch Fox and Friends in the morning in my radio studio. You've, you've been in the studio. I have four TVs. I have five or six computers in front of me. And I spend my day, I like to quietly reflect and study before radio and TV. Right now in the United States of America, you are either the most powerful conservative traditional voice or tied with Limbaugh. Oh. It's close. Or what? Or tied with Rush Limbaugh. Because Limbaugh doesn't have a TV presence in primetime, and you do. So you, you can make an argument, are the most powerful, conservative, traditional media voice. Your parents, the pressure. your parents yeah. were working class people. Both of them worked. Okay? Yes. How do you think they would process, number one, you're one of the wealthiest people, uh, broadcasters. And number two, you're one of the most, probably the most powerful. How would your parents process that? So I, my father died six months after I started at Fox. And I did get him a satellite dish so he can watch. And then I, I worked at a radio station in New York at 11 at night till 2 in the morning. And I loved late night radio. It was actually really fun. And he would listen all night, four straight hours. And then, you know, he said, where did this all come from? I said, Dad, you yelled at me every day to shut the radio off. I wasn't a TV watcher. I listened to the talk radio guys. But well, how would they feel? I'm going to tell you how they'll feel, Bill O'Reilly. I know God has blessed them because they had a much harder life than I've had. Every time I want to whine, bitch, and complain, I think about their life. I have no right to complain because I stand on the shoulders of very dirt poor grandparents, poor parents that never vacation bought a new car, maybe late in life, and that gave everything to their kids so that we could get a Catholic school education 
because they saw that as an opportunity out. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No Spin News, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First.